So money is a sensitive topic for a lot of people but I'm just going to be talking through the different things that I do at the moment to save for a four week Europe trip that I'm doing at the end of the year and hopefully you'll be able to implement something like this to save for whatever you are saving for. This won't work for everyone but just giving you some ideas and some food for thought for different ways that you can be aware of where your money is going and to save the money. Whether it be to pay off some debt, to save for a trip, anything like that, I hope this video helps. The first thing I do is track my spendings. So I know this doesn't work for everyone and I completely understand it. For me personally, I like to see where my money is going. At the end of each month, I assess where my money's gone and I'm able to see where I need to cut back on my spending. So if I'm spending too much on eating out or on coffee or on, on clothes or makeup or anything like that. And then I can reassess from the next month and try and not put my money there and put more into savings for my trip at the end of the year. By being intentional with my money, I've actually put a little slip in my wallet with my card, my debit card, and it says where I want my money to go and I want to spend money on things that make me happy, traveling, on friends and family. And I have that with my card to remind me of where I want my money to go. So I don't have a budget, but I just do this to be intentional with where my money is going. Number two is that I paused most of my subscriptions. So I used to be subscribed to Audible. I used to have a subscription to the uh, Joy Lingo Plus has Spotify and Headspace and I think that was all of my subscriptions but I paused all of them but Spotify mainly because while they give me lots of value I can do without them for the six months that I have until I finish my going on my trip and then I can rejoin back onto them although all of those subscriptions didn't add up to a lot of money that money can lead to me having an extra or more extravagant meal over in Spain or something like that. Number three is creating a wish list. So the reason I do this is to let me think about the things that I want to buy and ensures I don't have any impulse purchases because a lot of the times we see things either when we're walking through the shops or when we get an email or on sale or something like that and we're like, oh, we need it. And when I get that feeling, I put it in my wish list. Then I reassess it a couple of weeks later and be like, do I really need that? And most of the time I'm like, no, I don't really need that. So it gives me time to think about the purchase. And if I am still pretty keen on it a couple of weeks later, then I will purchase it. And also sort of along with this, I plan my gifts in advance and then I can start purchasing them earlier or if I know really what I want to get for one person and it goes on sale, then perfect. Number four is once my money goes into my savings account, then I'm not allowed to touch it. Now this is just a just a mindset sort of thing, but knowing that once my money has gone into the savings account, not touching it because I know that money is going to benefit me more when I'm overseas so I can experience more over there rather than maybe purchasing an extra coffee or something like that. Number six is that I avoid going to shops both in person and online. One, I find shops very sweaty and stressful. Don't know why, I just don't like trying on clothes in person very often. And also it stops the chance of unnecessary purchases with, with that sort of impulse purchasing. And I've also unsubscribed from all of like the clothing shop emails and I stopped following a bunch of those stores on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and all that sort of stuff. And all those social media accounts. Cause I used to follow Princess Polly on Instagram and all of the models look amazing in all of the dresses but they wouldn't look the same on me. <laughs> and a lot of the time, the clothing doesn't fit my personal style. So I had a couple of times where I bought some clothes from there and then I tried it on and I'm like, this does not work for me. Why did I buy this? My final thing is that I'm actually traveling to Europe in the off season, so during winter. I was gonna be traveling through July, but I saved thousands of dollars by traveling in winter. Obviously it's not as hot, obviously it's winter, but there is going to be much less crowds, much less expensive. And yeah, so those were six small things that I'm doing to save money that hopefully 
can help you to save money if some of them work for you. If not, I hope you enjoyed this video regardless. And I have another video about how to save money. I think it's simple ways to save money. I'll link that at the end of the video and also down below. I hope you're having a wonderful afternoon, morning, evening, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.